Hey guys, thank you for watching. For this video, I wanted to confess something to you guys. I wanted to confess that I do have cheat snacks here and there, and I wanted to kind of get into it a little bit. Before I talk about the recent incidents, uh, especially this week, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of history so I can kind of explain where my mind is at right now and how I got there. So if you've been following me for a while, then you know that back in 2017, I started keto right around March. And from March, all the way up to about July, I was very, very strict and I was losing weight the entire time. Now, once we hit our family vacation in July, I allowed myself a few cheat meals. From that point on, it was a lot easier for me to kind of cheat. And so I would notice that I would have strict keto meals, but I would snack on like my daughter's leftovers. I mentioned this before, but I just want to use it to paint a picture. As I allowed myself to snack on non-keto food, kind of slowly started gaining weight that was about August where I hit my birthday, 37 years old, and I did a seven day fast. So that made me drop some weight, obviously. Now after the fast, I stayed strict for a few weeks and then I started coming back up again as I started snacking on non-keto food. It started with small snacks and it's kind of increased to the bigger meals and then main meals. And then I was back and forth between a full keto meal and a full non-keto meal. And it lasted all the way up to our Christmas vacation. If you check out my vlogs, you can see that I was still promoting and keto meals but I wasn't really showing the non-keto food. Now January hit and that's when I started my no sabotage meal challenge and so I was very very strict from January all the way up to about July when I broke my ankle and I came back from Japan. The first real cheat meal that I allowed myself to have was in the airplane on the way back with a broken ankle. My logic behind it was that if I ate this cheat meal if it was gonna make me sleepy and then that way I can just go to sleep and I have to think about the you know the throbbing pain on my ankle the re-swelling of my ankle and it didn't work I ate the airplane food it was a sandwich and I think some chips and a cookie or something like that but at the end of the meal I didn't feel sleepy I didn't feel headaches so I was like okay well I've been really strict for six months so now I'm fat adopted so it, the carbs aren't really gonna affect me so that was the first time that I realized that I was legitimately like full deep ketosis and fully adapted. Now when I got back, I, I was by myself for a little bit and I was really strict on keto. I went to my friend's house, they helped me be strict on keto. They were cooking their, their keto meals for me. And so I continued to lose weight. I would drop all the way to 212. When my wife and daughters came back, I moved back home. I was still cooking keto meals and I was still losing weight, wasn't cheating. And then we sold our house. Right now we're in the middle. We're waiting for our new house to finish closing so that we can go in there, fix it up, and finally move in. In this last month of September, while we were waiting for our house to close, we haven't really had access to a kitchen. So I've been cooking dinner here and there. But for the most part, we've been ordering either Uber Eats or we've been going out to eat. Uh, but anyways, long story short, I've been not just having cheat meal, but having like consistent cheat meals almost every day. Now in the beginning, even if I ate a full blown cheat meal, like fries or a hamburger with the bun, it wouldn't affect me. I didn't get headaches. I didn't get dizzy. I didn't, not, nothing really happened. And uh, so I, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I'm keto adapted. I got careless. I started cheating more. This week I went to the movies three times and all three times I ordered popcorn, hot dog, and pizza. And today, after watching Smallfoot and eating popcorn, hot dog, and nachos, I actually got a headache and I started feeling sleepy. And so it just kind of hit me and it made me realize that, yeah, it's okay to be real strict and then have a few cheat meals, but it's not okay to consistently have cheat meals because not only is that gonna take you off ketosis, but it's gonna take you out of the keto adaptation phase. Now I'm saying you, but I'm talking to myself. I made a video about why it's not okay to cheat on keto and justified it saying that it is okay here and there I'm in my vlogs. And now I'm telling you, yes, it's okay to have a cheat meal, but know that it's a slippery slope. And the reasons that I gave you on my why not to cheat video still apply. You can cheat, but you have to realize that you're allowing yourself to do something. I'm going to start talking to myself, okay? I'm allowing myself to do something that I know is not beneficiary to me. And then the cycle begins. I'm okay with it because now I know 
that carbs are making me fat. If I do slip, now I know, okay, nip it in the butt, get back on it. It almost feels like I'm a drug addict or an alcoholic that fell off the wagon. I know what the right choices are. I've been able to do it strict for a long time, but I'm gonna slip once in a while and that's okay. Now I know this video is basically my therapy telling myself that it's okay to cheat and it's okay if you slip, but get back on the wagon and do what you know you need to be doing. So anyways, I'm not preaching. I'm just saying that it's gonna happen. It's okay. Just go past it and keep moving forward. I hope this helps somebody. I know it helps me. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for watching guys. Remember, I'm on a mission to retire early and travel the world with my family. So on top of my weekly vlogs, I'm also gonna put videos on how I plan to generate money on the road, how I save money, how I become a minimalist, and anything that helps me reach that goal of early retirement. Uh, if that's something that interests you, please subscribe to this channel. Click right here to see the latest upload. Click here to see videos that relate to this video right here. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you can get notifications for whenever I upload new videos. And also, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the the next one. Bye.